Hi, I'm John Johnston, curator of the HP Computer Museum, and today we have something very special for you. Today, we're going back to the very beginning of HP's involvement in the computer industry. On my left is the HP 9100A. This was HP's first ever desktop computer introduced in 1968. But today we're going back to November 7th of 1966 when HP introduced its first computer of any kind, the 2116A. The 2116A was HP's first computer but not first computer product. HP had already been selling magnetic tape drives into the industry for the previous year and a half. 2116A was the world's second ever commercial 16-bit computer. The first was from Computer Control Corporation of Framingham, Massachusetts. That was the DDP-116 introduced in 1965. Digital Equipment Corporation had also introduced its PDP-8 in 1965. But as the name implies, the PDP-8 was a 12-bit computer. Now the 2116 was not an instant success. HP only sold five units to outside customers in its first nine months on the market. All five of those units were sold by Dick Slocum of HP's Eastern Sales Region in the United States. And here she is. The first thing you notice about the 2116 is its size. It's very small. Similar computers of the same time period were usually four or five times larger than the 2116. But one thing you don't see is how robust this machine was. This thing was designed to work in factory floor environments, not just in climate controlled computer rooms like most computers of the day. The 2116 could work in operating temperatures up to 55 degrees Celsius and humidity of up to 95%. Now, our 2116 is connected to an HP 2752A terminal. If you were born before 1960, you might recognize this as a teletype machine. These machines were the most common peripherals in the computer industry in the 1960s and 1970s. They were combination terminal, printer, and mass storage device. So they could store programs and data on punched paper tape and then read that tape into the computer. Uh, computing has come, come a long way since a 2116. This unit came standard with 4K memory. That doesn't sound like much, but it was upgradable to 8K. And this is what 4K memory looks like. Magnetic core. This one is out of a 2114 actually. This is 4K memory. This is one terabyte of memory on a micro SD card. If photovoltaic technology marches along at the same rate over the next 50 years, then the energy supplies for our species should be more than secure. And now, I'd like to introduce a very special person here at the HP Computer Museum, our engineering restoration manager, David Collins. David restored our 2116A in February and March of 2016. We are only aware of two units in existence, uh, this being one of them, the other one being held by Tim Riker in the United States. So David is going to show us how the old machine works. David? Thanks, John. So yes, the 216, 2116A uh, has been an interesting device for me to, uh, to restore. Um, a long time ago, back in the early 80s, I started my career as an HP engineer. So this is revisiting my old roots. So this is the inside of the, uh, of the 2116. It's, it's broken up into four main areas. All the memory controls, the memory drivers, the reader, reading circuits are all up in this section. This one for four, the first 4K core module, and this section for the second 4K module. The modules themselves are actually in the back here, at the back of the card cage, just near the power supply. Down here, you've got the arithmetic boards, there's a, a six boards there, got some memory controller boards, test points for the power supply. And then this whole section down here is all around I.O. cards to be inserted. So the, the beauty of this machine, it was designed as an instrumentation controller. And so it has a lot of I.O. cards here, plus you could add on a whole extra frame and expand the I.O. cards even more. So 
All we've got connected at the moment in the IO cage is the teletype, but you can add a lot more cards. And then the front panel, the register switches, the power switch. This has a 64 bytes of information written into the, the top part of core to load in paper tape to get the thing going. And there's a switch here that protects that to make sure it can't be overwritten. Then you've got preset, run, halt, load data into memory, load data into accumulator A, into accumulator B, load a memory address off the switches, display the memory address, and execute a single cycle. So what I'm going to do now is run a diagnostic program on the 2116A that tests out the teletype. So first thing I'll do is I'll turn the 2116A on. Because it's got core memory, I don't have to load a program into there now because I've done that earlier. So the first thing I'll do, next thing I'll do is I'll turn on teletype. And now I'll load the starting address of the, of the program into the front panel switches. It's 100. And I'll load that address in and set the address for this, which is 10, and run. And that noise says it's found the teletype. Run the program, now it's waiting for the input, and I'm going to flip this switch, which will make it punch tape and print. And it's saying, begin punch and read, it wants me now to switch the punch on, which I've done, and I'll start the test. And you'll see, coming out here, punching a set of characters, all the characters you can press, and punching on this tape. Once it's done that, I'm going to take that tape, I'm going to put it into the reader, let it read back, and it's going to compare and make sure that what it punched on the tape is what it was expecting to punch. So there's the tape. It's just been printed out with all the holes. I'm going to load this tape into the reader. There we go. Let's start. Now I'm going to press run. It's going to read this tape and it's going to print out what it's reading and compare and make sure they're the same. Here we go. There we go. Print it. In a minute, it's going to start printing up on here the code that it's reading off the tape. There it goes. It's doing a comparison. If they're not right, it'll come up and give me a warning for their But it's working. And it says, end of punch and read. Ready for the next one. Well, that test is passed. So there you have it. The HP 2116A. 50 years old on November 7th of 2016. To learn more about the 2116 or more about HP's Computing history, please visit our website at www.hpmuseum.net.